Hi, this is Joel Sander Domingo, PC Mag Labs, here with the Intel Compute Stick. We just got this in the mail, so we're doing an unboxing. All right, the Intel Compute Stick is a computer in a stick. It's about the size of a memory stick, supposedly, and it's got a full processor, some storage, and Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. So you can just plug into the back of a monitor or HDTV and turn it into an all-in-one PC. Let's see what we've got in the box. Well, see, we got a note to the reviewer. All right. We've got an Intel memory card. That's probably the photos and information about the system. We've got a USB to micro USB. That's probably for the power. We've got a, an HDMI extender. We've got the Intel Compute Stick. It's got an Intel Atom processor and runs a full copy of Windows 8.1 with Bing, which means that you can run your programs and all your current browser plugins just like you would on your regular laptop or desktop. Let's take a look at the side. We've got a full-size USB 2.0 uh, port, it looks like, a micro USB port for charging, or for power, I should say, uh, the power button, on the front, we've got the HDMI port. That's where you would plug it into your monitor or HDTV. On the other side, we've got the micro SD card. This is very important because the system only has 32 gigs of storage on it. So you will need that if you want to put any videos on here that aren't streaming. It's got two gigs of memory, so that's pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, you should be able to run pretty much any browser program, and light computing on this sucker. And then let's see what else we got in here. Some packing materials. And OK, we've got a power power brick for the, uh, for the USB. And I assume these are, yes, they are. These are AC plug adapters. So there you have it. We've got the Intel Compute Stick. It's got an Intel Atom processor. Surprisingly, it's not one of the new X7 processors like in the Surface 3, but I suppose they wanted to go with something that's a little more, more tried and true. Um, it's got Intel HD graphics, 2 gigs of memory, and 32 gigs of SSD storage space, which means we're definitely going to need the micro SD card slot for running tests or watching videos.